Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 9th, and boy, we're getting beautiful weather now. It's uh, it's sunny, bright, the mornings are cool. It's just, just a wonderful time to be able to sit outside and, and enjoy a pipe or a cigar. Um, this morning I broke down and had a cigar, and I cannot remember what it was, but it was, it was a light Connecticut wrapper. It'll come to me. Uh, but I really enjoyed that sitting out, out uh, just listening to the birds in, in the early morning. Nice cool weather. Feeling the sun starting to, to gain strength and warm things up. It's just, just a beautiful time of year. But now I am smoking the Mighty Hercules. This is a Hercules, which is a 7LE second. Uh, and it's filled with Weybridge because I've got a, an addiction to Weybridge now. This is new Weybridge, by the way. I, I finished up the, the aged stuff, and uh, I've got a couple more jars, but I'm saving that for special occasions. I'm going to try to jar up some of this new batch and see if I can get the same transformation out of it in a few years' time. So we'll see what happens. This pipe, I probably have talked about this before, but this pipe is just wonderful. It smokes beautifully. Uh, you know, it's a 7LE through and through. It's just got a different label on it. Um, I got this at a, uh, what do you call them? Not an antique shop, but the, a place where, like, you can take stuff and give it to the guy. He'll sell it for you. There's a name for that that I commission or something like that. Anyway, this guy um, knows my wife and knew that I'm a pipe smoker and said, Hey, we got some pipes if you want to come look at them. He had a box, and I, I mean, this was like a, I don't know, maybe a two foot by one and a half foot cardboard box, about two foot high, that was just filled with pipes. I mean, it, there was no, you couldn't put your hand into this box, you had to move the pipes to get. And what had happened was the, uh, a pipe shop had shut down in the 1970s, and it just sat there. Nobody ever uh, did anything with the property, and somebody ultimately bought it. It went in and it was full of pipes that, that had been sitting on the shelf, you know, unused since the 70s. And they wound up in this box and, you know, brought over and said, can you sell these? So I'm looking through them and I said, you know, how much are you asking? And he said, well, there's price stickers on them, so we'll, we'll sell them for whatever the price sticker is. So I bought this pipe for, I think it was like $7.99. Uh, <laughs> you know... Brand new pipes at 1970s prices. 1970s pipes at 1970s prices. It was it was, it was remarkable. Uh, I bought a few more. I'll, yeah, I'll show them off someday. Uh, lost my tamper. Uh, actually, this is I bought three altogether, I think, and I don't think I've smoked the other two. It's a problem. I you know you, you probably think I've got. Um, you know this ridiculously large collection of pipes because of what I do. I have maybe, I really don't have that many. I, I have maybe, so I, I don't count them on purpose, but somewhere between 30 and 40 pipes that are in my regular rotation, and then I probably have about 20 to 30 that are uh, either rarely smoked or never smoked, and I, sh I should go through those someday. Maybe after I get all this mess done and I put together a, uh, a new pipe rack, which is one of the first things I want to build once the shop is back together. Maybe I'll do one of those pipe collection videos. I can show you the new rack and sort of take you through all the pipes. That'll be fun. And you can yell at me for the ones I'm not smoking. So, Hercules is great, but the star of the show today. Uh, you know, I, I, I love Zippo lighters. And I've been using this Zippo, which is their little pipe insignia uh, with pipe insert. Uh, since the 90s. I, I love this this lighter. It's been with me through thick and thin, and uh, it's not going anywhere. Um, but I love Zippos in general. I've got other Zippos that I use from time to time. I've never had one that I thought would replace this, uh, or at least become commonly used alongside this. And I got a package in the mail the other day with a incredibly kind gift from my good friend Ben, the Artful Codger. And Ben sent me this lighter. 
I don't know if the detail is going to show up for you guys. I sure hope it is. This is a... So, first off, it, it's a St. Benedict medal, and I'll explain that in a moment. Uh, it is deeply carved. This is not just a surface etching. This is this is actually, I wish there was some way I could show you how deeply carved this is, but you can feel every detail as you run your thumb over it. Um, and it works. It's a beautiful lighter. Um, I and Ben knew this from, from some interactions we had. Uh, I'm, I'm Roman Catholic, as I've said many times. I have a devotion to St. Benedict, uh, St. Benedict of Nursia. And the symbolism on this lighter is, is actually very, very important to me. Um, I'm not going to go into it because, you know, I, I don't know how many of you guys would be interested. But if you'd like me to, I, I'd be happy to make another video at some point uh, talking about all the different symbolism on this. But you can see it's just full of, of uh, etching, or not even etching, carving. It's a beautiful lighter, and I was I was shocked to receive this, um, and and you know pleasantly shocked. And uh, you know Ben is just such a good guy, such a generous guy, such a good friend. He's done so much for the for the the pipe community in general, and uh, yeah, he's been a good friend to me over the years, and I really value his his friendship far beyond any gift that he would give me. Uh, but this is very, very important to me and special to me, not just because of the symbolism on it, but because it came from my good friend Ben. So thank you, Ben. You'll be seeing this uh, more often. It will. It, it won't replace because you know I've got a long history with this fellow. But it certainly will will be used and will be used frequently. So let me know if you want to know more about the St. Benedict Medal. I'd be happy to talk about that and. Actually, I'd like talking about it because I, I think I know a lot of, of, of my, my viewers and my friends out there are, are Christian. And I really appreciate and value the, the fellowship that we have uh, around our faith. And, you know, as a Catholic, I sometimes feel like I'm slightly on the outskirts of that. Um, I know there's a lot of Christian denominations that are very wary of Catholics and believe things about Catholics that, you know, quite frankly aren't true, but cast us in a very bad light. I'd love to dispel some of those myths, uh, but at the same time, I don't want to put any of you guys off. So, let me know what you think. Would you like to know more about that? If so, I'll, maybe I'll make a special video uh, just talking about the, the lighter and then the symbolism there. Um, so, <laughs> This will be the one video where I never have to relight, so I won't be able to, <laughs> to use the lighter for you. I did relight, but I used the other one because I didn't want to use it before I showed you the... Uh, anyway. So, I know that you, like me, have been missing Ben. Uh, his presence is uh, is greatly missed in, in terms of, of uh, YouTube videos. He tells me he's working on something and there might be a, an appearance or a video from the Artful Codger, uh, yeah, the Artful Codger in the, uh, in the not too distant future. So something to look forward to. I'll link to his channel down below if you're not subscribed. Get over there and give him a, give him a sub. He's, uh, his videos are legendary, and uh, he he really puts a lot of work into them, uh, and they're they're just jewels. They're 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 well worth the time you spend watching. This Waybridge is it's one of these tobaccos. It's it's like haunted bookshop. Once I start smoking it, I just don't want anything else. You know, I've got all these jars and tins upstairs, and. I've got a tin of H&H uh, uh, &H Vintage Syrian, I think it's, a, I, I can't remember, if it's, but it's Vintage Syrian, it was a gift from my, my friend Eric. I really want to open that, I, I've talked before about my Latakia experience and how I, I feel that it's changed and it may be because of the downfall of Syrian Latakia and I, I'd really like to try this, but I need to... I need to be in the right mood for it, and I will ultimately do a, 
uh, a video on impressions of the, the Vincent Syrian. It's not a blend that you can get anymore, so it's not going to be a Tobacco Talk Tuesday. Um, which, by the way, I've got like four of those lined up. I just haven't had the time to film them. Uh, it's not going to be one of those. It'll just be a, you know, one of these talks where I'll tell you what I think of it. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. But every time I look at that can, I think, hmm, I really want some Weybridge. <laughs> and I just haven't been able to bring myself to open it. I mean, even, even Carter Hall, which, honestly, I, I smoke Carter Hall pretty much every day. I even look at that and go, eh, <laughs> when I've got this. And the same is true when I've got Haunted Bookshop. Uh, I, I have had, I've told you I've had great difficulty jarring Haunted Bookshop because I just smoke through it. I'm probably a quarter to halfway through that pound of Weybridge that I showed you. Um, it's just all that I'm smoking right now. I need help. Anyway, um, not a lot going on today, uh, t sort of taking it as a, as a lazy Sunday in a lot of ways. Uh, got a lot done yesterday, uh, spent some time outside doing some carving. Uh, not, again, not carving anything useful, just, just fooling around. If you follow me on Instagram, I, I posted <laughs> the results last night, and it, I don't even know what it is, just the shape. And I had people re respond and say, you know, really good work. <laughs> It's, it's a stick. It, it's not that good. Um, and my friend Bearded Tamper pointed out that it looks like I was carving a tamper, which I wasn't, but it sure does look like that now, so I'm probably going to have to turn it into a tamper. Uh, not not one that I would likely use in public, because it's going to just look like a stick, but it relax. It's good to do something with your hands. You know, that that's, that's the thing. And you know, it's great to go out and, you know, landscape and stuff like that. But sometimes you just want to sit down and relax. You want to have a pipe, maybe maybe a drink, although don't drink too much if you're using sharp tools. Uh, and it's just a, a nice activity for that. I don't really care what comes from it. I'm not trying to make anything. I'm just whittling, uh, and it's fun. So, Monday, tomorrow... I have my cataract surgery, and if you've been following me for any length of time, you've heard me talk about that. Very, very excited about it. A little trepidation, but, but not too bad. I, I mean, everybody that I've talked to has said it's a breeze, and uh, the results are astonishing. So I'm really looking forward to this time tomorrow being able to actually see things, and uh, that'll be a, a huge improvement for me. Uh, my wife is being overly protective, as wives, I suppose, should be. And, you know, it's bordering on, in my opinion, the ridiculous. Like, one of the things I wanted to do was, uh, I want to go fishing. And by the way, my elbow is, is actually much better. Uh, I wore that brace for a couple days. It really has helped. I'm going to put it back on before I do anything. Uh, so, elbow's doing a lot better. I'm My casting motion is almost there. <laughs> And I'm thinking, well, I gotta, I gotta take off from work tomorrow and Tuesday for this procedure. One of the things I'd like to do is get my fly boxes out, go through them, see what I need to. She yelled at me. She got really upset. Like, you know, you're gonna get dust in your eye and get an infection. And you're gonna be blind. And, okay, I, <laughs> I guess I won't be doing that. Uh, gotta keep her happy, obviously. And it's only because she cares about me, which I'm, you know, very, very happy to to know she cares that much. But boy, I, I, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be allowed to do anything that I want to do. <laughs> I'm going to just have to sit in a chair, and uh, maybe maybe I'll be allowed to watch some YouTube videos. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, folks, I am uh, going to get off. I am certain I'll be back next week. I don't see any reason why I won't be back to my normal schedule. Uh, without interruptions. Uh, and I wish you all the best for the week. I hope you have a great week. I thank you all for your kind words and thoughts and prayers regarding the my surgery uh, tomorrow. Um, no need to continue that. I, I really appreciate it. I, I don't want to... It's. I'm not looking for any more sympathy because I don't really need it. it it's, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, 
but thank you everyone that, that's, that's commented about that. I really appreciate the prayers. They're important. Uh, they're important in, in all aspects of life, and I keep you guys in my prayers, um, and I appreciate that you do the same. So, with that, I'll tie it up. Have a great week. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.